everything you need to know about python in simplest possible way in our previous videos we have discussed so many important concepts and so many important methods regarding dictionaries right so in this video we will be discussing one more important concepts which is nothing but nested dictionaries so watch the video till the end so that you can able to understand nested dictionaries and how we can effectively handle these nested dictionaries so let us go ahead and see one of the nested dictionary that we have and how we can handle these nested dictionaries so the dictionary that i am having which is having the key value pairs one is name uh, next one is age and when you see carefully here in this dictionary of in this key address we are having the value as a dictionary itself so here the value for address we are having dictionary so in this dictionary we are again having key value pairs so here in this dictionary in this nested dictionary we are having city and country so apart from that we are having one more nested dictionary which is nothing but context so for this key we are having one more dictionary so in this dictionary we are having email and phone like that we are having these nested dictionaries in this dictionary so let us go ahead and see how we can handle this nested dictionaries so let's say whenever we wanted to access any elements in the dictionary we used to access them using indexing and by mentioning the key right let's say in this person i wanted to access the name here so for that i will simply mention name here right so if i execute this we can able to get the result the value for this name so let's say if i wanted to access age by simply mentioning this age we can able to get the value for this age key here if i execute this we can able to get the result 22 right let's say if i wanted to access this city so how i can do that let's say if i simply mention this city can i get the value so let us see if i execute this so we are getting the key error which otherwise means it is saying the key is not present in the dictionary the city is not present in the dictionary so how it is happening is that this city is not directly present in the dictionary so i will show you how that is let's say i will take person dot keys here so by using this we can able to get all the keys right if i execute this we are only getting the keys name age address and contacts so this particular city country email and phone not exactly the keys that we have in this dictionary so how we can access this city in the dictionary so for that we need to go one step beyond so for that what we need to do is that first we need to mention the outer key so for this key we need to mention this key so it is address here so that is what i am mentioning here so after that we need to mention whatever the key that we wanted to access from this dictionary so let us understand if i execute this we can able to get the dictionary right so now this person of address is again acting as a dictionary so from this dictionary we need to access one key right we need to access one value so for that reason we again need to mention this indexing we again need to pass one of the key that we wanted to access from this dictionary so let's say if i mention city here and if i execute this we can able to get the exact value for city so in this way we need to access the elements in the nested dictionary so whatever the and how many nested dictionary that we have we need to mention those many number of indexes and we need to pass the keys that whatever we wanted here in this case in order to get this city we need to pause this address right so in this address persons only we are having again a dictionary so in that dictionary only we are having city so in order to access the city we need to do all of this process so i hope you can able to understand right so that's it that's the way that we can access these uh, elements and the values from the nested dictionaries so let us go ahead one more step ahead and understand some more concepts so here we are using these keys and we are getting all the keys right let's say if i use person uh, person dot values so by mentioning this we can able to get all the values right so if i execute this values s here if i execute this we can able to get all the values here if you could carefully observe this so i will 
increase a little bit so you can able to observe we are having mahesh and we are having 22 that's fine so apart from that we are having one of the value as a dictionary itself so for the address key we are having a dictionary as a value so apart from that for contact also we are having a dictionary as a value so in order to get the values we need to go through those dictionary and the get the values so i hope you can able to understand how we can access the uh, values from the dictionary so so here let's say if you wanted to access this particular nested dictionary values so here in this case we are using simply this particular values for this person right by that we are getting all the values let's say you wanted to access these values which are present in this dictionary so for that what we need to do first we need to mention the let's for that first we need to mention one of the key that we have for in order to get this uh, dictionary so that is nothing but in this case we are having address right so i will mention address here so after that if i use this values and if i execute this you can able to see we are getting the values hyderabad and india so in a similar way if i mention keys here so i will take same thing here and if i mention keys and if i execute this we can able to get the keys by mentioning this particular address key because this particular inner dictionary only present and can only access using this outer key so that is how we are accessing values inside of the dictionary we are accessing keys and values from the nested dictionary so i hope you can able to understand that so this is one of the thing that i wanted to mention and apart from that we can able to access key value pairs right so how we can do that so person dot items by using this items method we can able to access key value pairs right if i execute this we can able to see a list and instead of this list we are having tuples so this tuple contains key value pair in this case name is a key and mahesh is a value so like that we are containing all the key value pairs here if you could carefully see here the address is a key and the value for this address is a dictionary so here we are having again a dictionary like that we are having this structure so apart from that context is a key and the context inside of this particular thing is considered as a dictionary so like that this structure is having so that is how we have this nested dictionary so i have explained how we can access the keys in the nested dictionaries using by mentioning this particular outer key here so we can access the values from the nested dictionary by mentioning this particular key in the similar fashion we can access this particular nested key value pairs can we access them so let us go ahead and see that so person we need to mention address here so that is what i am doing because in this address key only we are having this particular values right this value as a dictionary so i wanted to access this key value pair so city hyderabad country india so for that i am mentioning items here and if i execute this we can able to see the collection of key value pairs in the tuple so country city which is hyderabad and country which is nothing but india so by doing this by in order to access the nested dictionaries you must need to specify the key for which the dictionary is associated so i hope by this explanation of accessing the keys and values and items you can able to understand how we can access those things by mentioning the key associated with the dictionary so i hope you can able to understand that so these are we have discussed two things right how we can access the specific element from the nested dictionary and how we can access keys values items from the nested dictionary let us go ahead one step ahead and understand how we can iterate through nested dictionaries so let us go ahead and understand that so in order to do that we generally use for loop right so that is what i will be using now for uh, let's say i will take a key so i will iterate through key value pairs by using items so for as a result we will be getting two things right one is key another one is value that is what i am mentioning here key value so in so from where we need to get we need to get that from the person dictionary so from person dictionary only we are doing all of this process right in person dictionary only we are having nested dictionaries so by mentioning this items we can able to get the key value pairs right so i will just print key comma value here 
and if I execute this, we are getting the key and value like this by separated by spaces. So here, if you could carefully see here, we are having address key and the associated dictionary as a value. Here we are having context key and associated dictionary as a value. So let's say like this, we can able to get the keys and values, right? So I will remove this. So you can able to understand clearly. If I execute this, we are getting the values as a dictionaries, right? So if you wanted to access these values that are present inside of this particular uh, dictionary, we need to go one step ahead in order to get that. So what that is, is that, so for that in order to get that, we need to check a condition. So if, so by using this value only, we are getting that, right? So for that reason, I am using value. So this value is what the dictionary is, right? So in order to check the value is dictionary or not, we can use type or instance. So if I use type of this particular value is equal to equal to dict. And what I need to do is that I will print. So instead of printing, what I will be doing is that I will iterate through that value and what I will be doing, I need to get key one and value one here. So what I'm doing here is that I will be iterating through this particular value if the value is of type dictionary. So that is what I'm doing. So I will mention value here and if I print key one here and value one here. So understand carefully and if I execute this, so we are getting an error. So we need to mention like this. If I execute this, so we are again getting an error. So the reason is because the error is saying too many values to unpack. So why we are getting that is because we are simply using this value, right? So we need to mention items to get key value pairs here. So I am mentioning items and if I execute this, we are getting all the keys and values. City is a key and the value is Hyderabad, right? You can see here, city is Hyderabad and country is India. Like that, we are having the key value pairs. Apart from that, we are having email as a key and the original email as a value. We are having phone as a key and phone number as a value. Like that, we can able to get the inside of nested dictionaries by using this type, by checking this type. So, if the type is dictionary, we are going inside and getting all of the values. Let's say if I remove this key one and if I execute this, we can able to get all the values inside of the nested dictionaries. So here we are having Hyderabad, India, this mail and this number, right? Hyderabad, India, mail and number like that we can able to get. And if I mention key one here, and if I execute this, we can able to get all the nested keys. So city, country, email and phone, city, country, email and phone. Like that, we can able to iterate through this nested dictionary and get whatever the values or keys that we wanted from the nested dictionaries. So previously I have seen, I have shown you how we can access the key value pairs, right? So like this, we can get all the keys values from the nested dictionaries. So I hope you can able to understand how we can use this nested dictionaries and how we can handle these nested dictionaries. So I will quickly wrap up what we have discussed. So initially we have discussed how we can access a specific element value which is in the nested dictionary. So in order to access that we need to mention the outer key. Then only we can able to enter into the nested dictionaries. So apart from that whatever the values that we wanted to access either it may be values, keys, items, we must need to specify the outer key. So then only we can able to access that. That I have shown with this particular address here. So address is a key and inside of this key, we are having the value as a dictionary. So in order to get this inside key value pairs, we must need to specify the outside address here. That is what we are using in order to get all of these things. So apart from that, we have seen how we can iterate through nested dictionaries. So if the type is a dict, then only we are able to go inside and get the values. So I hope you can able to understand right? So that's it for this video. And I hope you have found this video interesting. If that is true, hit the like button and comment whatever you think about this video. In the next video, we will see how we can use functions. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.